All right, guys, welcome back to part two of our Pokemon Tops Series 2 trading card full booster box. And we are sad today. So we have a bunch of different weights here of packs. This is 17.1s, 2s. Uh, this is 17 to 17.1, 17.1 to 72, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, and this is the 17.6 pluses. And then we have a bunch of packs. We have three of them that are four that are over 18 grams. But as we discovered in the first video, guys, listen, we have fusing of the cards. So these were stacked and because they're stacked with weight on top of them, at some point, the cards actually fuse together in some cases. So we are going to start because we are greedy little buggers. First, we're gonna do the absolute lightest pack, which I believe will be a die cut insert, but with the crinkling, it could very well be destroyed. So here we go, guys. First pack, let's get it. They open really nice. So that's that's super, superb, super duper. We hear that? Ah, breaks my soul. No damage. Okay, fantastic, guys. There's no damage. That is... That makes me feel a lot better about life. So 82, Magneton. 85, Dodrio. We have Team Rocket, James. Ooh, a little bit. A little bit too sticky for my liking there. 86, Seal. Super nice Seal card. Episode 3, Ash catches a Pokemon. This is when he catches Caterpie. I don't know if you guys watched the show back in the day, but I did. It was life. Um, then we got Ash Ketchum. The, my boy, they actually based Ash Ketchum off me. They knew I was going to exist and collect Pokemon. So they actually, it's kind of like a reverse time thing. You would, you, most people wouldn't get it. It's complex, but see the damage. Can you guys see right there? The delamination and there is the Oddish. Nice. So Oddish didn't take much damage. Oh, oh, my heart, my soul. You guys hear that? Ugh. Okay, so see the Oddish took damage there. Number 43, Oddish, stage one, EV four of 12. But look guys, see the delamination and the color discoloring? And then we got Todd the hollow, but also you can see the outline of Oddish on Todd. So these cards stuck together and you can actually see all of the die cut off of Todd there. So there's that. We're gonna open, so that was the lightest pack which as we expected guys that had um a die cut insert so we expected that to have a light card because it was a very light pack there we go that's just what that was i can't believe it it sucks a little bit of damage to it but there we go so we're going to put the die cut insert over back up here in the weight category it represented now we're gonna go fast um this is the heavy ones these are above 18 grams so these are the 18.4s 18.5s if this is a super rare variant hollow and there's a charizard and it's wrecked i literally might throw up on camera or i might cry like i'm leaning right off camera i'm stressed right now guys i do not like seeing boxes like this that are super high price just completely trashed so let's see why is this pack a full gram more episode 17 island of the giant pokemon with damage on the corner you guys see that? The one corner is damaged. So we're going to put all the damage cards over here. That's our damaged hollows, damage cards, good hollows, good cards. We'll put good hollows there. So there is Todd in the non hollow, but damaged. I can't believe this, guys. This makes me, this is like disgusting. The fact that someone let these get wrecked like this. How dare people keep these in their attic or stack them so high? There we go. Number 80, slow bro, in good condition. Number 97, Hypno in good condition. Number 109, Coughing. Oh, wow, guys, we got a clear card. Ooh. So 109, Coughing. Reasonable condition. We can, we can use that one. 95, Onyx. I'm looking. See how I'm moving the card back and forth? I'm looking for See how there's a little bit of spackle damage there, but not much. Now, number 25, Pikachu with the clear card. Let's see how badly this guy is stuck to the one behind it. Real bad. So they're a little bit offset. Guys, I can't even get it to come apart. I might have to sell it as one item. 
I might have to sell it as one. You guys see this? I might have to sell this as one item. Look at that. No way. And what's behind it is a far-fetched hollow, but Pikachu is fused right to it. Oh, oh, we got a part. Look at that, guys. Look what's happening. There's our far-fetched hollow. Trash. Crap. Okay, so we got the Pikachu. I do believe I can probably get this off because you can wash these cards, right? Like this is a plastic card. It's a clear card. So you can put this in water. I believe I can remove that. Or do I sell it as an error? Error card, half of a far-fetched hollow. It's breaking my heart, guys. Already I'm stressed. So there is a damaged insert. We're going to go with the next heavy pack. Here's a crackling. So you guys want to feel that for packs for crackling. If it crackles too much, you got handled. Now there's nothing a retailer can do to know because here's the thing. I've bought in packs and had it where the guy already um, bent them. So like a guy can take the pack and just do that and the crackles come out and then, then you can't tell. So Team Rocket, James with damage. See that? With delamination there. Episode 7, The Water Flowers of Cerulean City. And that is no damage, so we're going to put that there. Number 79, Slowpoke. No damage. So we're inspecting them for damage. We're doing good. Okay, this, this pack's a little bit better. Number 88, Grimer. Ooh, I heard some sticking. No damage. Nice. Number 86, Seal. Vicious. <gasps> Guys, we got the six, the Charizard clear one. This is a super expensive card, but it's stuck to a Seedra Hollow. We got it. I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm uh. what the hell do I do, guys? What the hell do I do? What do I do? Guys, you want to comment? What would you do? I'm just going to leave it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm calling it an error card. Error card, Charizard stuck to Cedra. Like you can't even get it off. Because it's a plastic card, it's not even gonna wanna come off. I'm just gonna sell it like that. It's fully fused together, I don't know what to do. Like, I... guys, this breaks my heart. This is one of the rarest cards in the set. Like this is the card, this is a money card right there. And like, it actually looks fantastic with the Cedra in the background. If you couldn't see the Cedra, wow, guys, amazing. So that hurt my soul. So now you guys know it's the 18 plus that have the uh, the plastic cards, and I will report back in the comments. I might even post some pictures if you guys check out the Card Snail blog. I might try to wash this other card off because I do believe that it just wrecked the far-fetched card here and then i could get the pikachu back to full because look it everywhere else there's no damage like the far-fetched was stuck but it didn't hurt the pikachu at all so i think i can clean this charizard off but we're going to start with the pikachu and we're going to test that so there you guys see the 18 plus grammars we got our oh, completely fused but they are technically all of those ones so now Let's go with the next lightest one. This is 17.1 grams. Oh, guys, my soul. I cannot believe this is happening, guys. I cannot believe it. I cannot freaking believe it. I keep drifting off camera over here like I'm slumping over. Like, my depression is showing. I hate it. Oh. Episode 4, Challenge of the Samurai. No damage, so that's nice, but they're just the playing cards. At number 89, Muck. No damage. That's all right. Or very little. 84, Doduo. Oh, and that is going to be bringing some damage. No. Okay. Or I can see a little bit, but it's very close to near mint. So we're good there. In 96, Drowsy with damage. Now see, the Drowsy is what took the damage. It lost ink. 
So that goes in the damage pile. Episode 11, Charmander, the stray Pokemon. This is when Ash finds Charmander all sad and alone. People abusing Charmanders like savages. Number 81, Magnemite. So the Magnemite took a little bit of damage. You see that? But now, does that mean that this hollow is fine? Because what the hell is this? So this is the next lightest one, guys, and it is a die cut stuck to a hollow. You gotta be freaking kidding me! Yeah, my soul. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there is number 11, Metapod, EV2 of 12. So that's our second die cut. But, uh, so that's the other light packs. This was 17.1 grams, but look, it's got damage on the front. And the Execute took heavy damage. So now let's open a middle of the road. This is 17.2. Oh, I don't hear any bull crap. What? See, so it's not even all of the packs are fused. It's just a lot of them. Yeah, it's not even all of the packs are fused, guys. But, of course, it's going to be the ones with no hollows or no rares or anything that are, that are fine because they don't have any additional risk to them. So we're going to open one of these ones because I'm, I'm not I'm not into opening a whole bunch of packs just to see the damage. We're just going to sell them as collector packs, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we got to do. You people can hate me all you want, but uh, that's what you do. That's that's how the game is played. I got had, and now someone else has to get had. I'm just kidding. It's not. Most people collect these for the collector value. I honestly never planned on opening them. I plan on being buried with these. So 94 Gengar, one of my favorite characters, but... A little tiny bit of damage. Almost near mint. Very close enough that we're going to call it. Ooh, Bulbasaur, episode 10. Bulbasaur in the Hidden Village. That's damaged. Number 82, Magneton. Damage. See the damage there, guys? Right there. Number 85, Dodrio. Okay, Dodrio seems to have gotten away with very little damage. Okay, we got a card there. Number 91, Cloister. Oh, that didn't stick to the one behind it, so. Near Mint Cloister, finally. Number 83, Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd looks good. Okay, episode 13, Mystery at the Lighthouse. Viciously stuck to an episode 12 hollow. Like, I can't even get them apart. No, and it's the Rainbow Hollow, too, isn't it? It is. Shut your front door. Well, that would have been a super rare card. Now it is crap. Along with this one, also crap. So, let's go 17.3 to 17.4. See, that one didn't make noise either. I'm like slouched over. I'm sorry, guys. I'm... If I can even tell you how bad my my soul hurts here doing this. Like literally, I could throw up. As a collector, I just, I can't. It's just hard for me to even believe people would improperly store these. It wasn't me. I'll tell you that much. Okay, an 85, Dodrio. Nice, not much damage. Number, oh, Team Rocket, James. Our boy James. Let's see if he's damaged little bit down here we're gonna call that an excellent though episode seven the water flowers of cerulean city sorry guys I'm, I'm just so distracted my my brain is is mush right now because of this i just it puts me into like stress overdrive 79 slow poke also in decent condition all right episode three ash catches a pokemon with a slight bit of delamination, we're going to call that damaged. 86, seal. With no damage, thank you. Ash Ketchum, brutally stuck to a 99 Kingler hollow. The 
The brutal part is looking at him and like, what if these are the rainbow hollow variants? Because some of these hollows are worth a fortune. Garbage. Okay, so now we're gonna go to 17.4 to 17.5. Oh, guys, the stress. Like I said, I got to stop slouching and like leaning over into the table. I am just like not feeling good right now. I could throw up, to be honest with you guys. So let's just start off looking at the hollow. Oh, did you hear that? It was like my soul cracked. Number 113, So there would have been a Chansey Hollow. Guys. Oh, okay. I'm just so flustered. Okay. Episode 21, Abra and the Psychic Showdown. Okay, that's actually not damaged. That's perfect. Number 102, Execute. Very little damage, if any at all. Okay. Episode 22, The Tower of Terror. It's kind of, I think I believe that's the first showing of Ghastly Haunter Gengar, the whole series, like the whole evolution set. 100, Voltorb. Okay, the cards weren't wrecked, so it's just get. See, there's a very... Oh, this one's wrecked. So this is Cassidy, Team Rocket Cassidy. So we got a nice pile of completely trash cards. We got a pile on the floor, ones I've just been throwing. So now we're going to go to the next weight. This is 17.5 to 17.6. And listen to that hell in a hand basket crap. Guys. I can't, I can't even believe this. Like, ah, oh, my lordy. Sorry to be so complainy, guys. I just, I don't know what you want to do. Okay, so we got Cedra, Horsey. Ugh, I feel like I'm torturing you guys. Just making you watch me just wreck cards. 115, Kangaskhan. Almost no damage. That's, that feels nice. 114, Tangela. 113, Chansey. See, that wasn't the hollow one we got. And okay, 100 Voltorb. So at least we haven't gotten the hollow Charizard or something that's wrecked. That would just make me absolutely sick to my stomach. All right, we kind of got the Voltorb. Just absolutely thrashed. But uh, there it is. Oh, what's this one? Is this like another insert in here? So the 17.5 to 17.6 might contain a secondary insert. Is this one of the sticker cards? I think this is a sticker, guys, right here. I, I could just scream. Definitely the sticker. You see how it like peeled weird like that? Okay, hold on. Oh, so there it is. Number 74, Geodude. So the back is damaged, but you know what? Because it's a sticker, right? Seven of ten. This is—I believe these are stickers. No, they're not. I'm just wrecking even more. <laughs> well, guys, you know what are you gonna do when you when you when you're on a bad run? You're just on a bad run. You start ripping ripping shit apart, being angry. So, that's now garbage. Also garbage. So, the last one. This is 17.6 plus. Okay, very little crackling going on. Maybe there's something nice in here. Although, we're not going to hold our breath. But, uh... Maybe we get lucky. Episode 18, Tentacool and Tentacruel. Damage. See the damage there, guys? See the whitening? Call that whitening. Episode 17. Okay, very little damage. We're going to sell that. That's excellent. All right. So we got Todd, and he's not badly damaged. Oh, nice. Hypno. One of my favorite guys. Number 97, Hypno. Also not damaged. 
Number 109, coughing. No damage. Okay, we're getting lucky here, guys. Lucky. We're getting lucky here. We only spent several thousand dollars to get a bunch of garbage. We got we got one piece that wasn't crap. How lucky are we? It's like people like people with AIDS or cancer arguing like, well, someone has a worse. It's like, look, you guys, you guys are both got a worse. Like we at so, at a certain point here, we just got it worse. We got the worst. Oh right, we almost got a Rhyhorn with only giant lines destroying it all dang over. Ugh. And then we got another one of, I can see, so the 17.5s and 6s are the ones that contain these, like the one with the Geodude that we just wrecked. The, uh... So there goes Onyx. Oh, guys. My soul. Okay, so... Pardon my language, my soul. Oh, ditto. Nice. So we kind of, sort of, got this Ditto and Pikachu card. Sort of. And, uh, what we're going to do, because I think the only hope we have here to recover even a single cent is the fact that I'm pretty sure if I soak these in just regular distilled water, it will not wreck the card, but it will strip off the paper. So we're going to open the other two that were above 18 grams, and we're just going to see what our clear cello card is, because now we know... 18 grams and plus is the cello cards. I'm so frustrated. I'm like leaning over. I'm wrecking the packs. I just like my posture, my back hurts. So we got Squirtle. Is he going to come quietly? Probably not. So like I said, we're just going to soak it in water and see if the card soaks off. The rest of the cards... damaged the rest of the cards are okay all right so really we have three chances here to recover ourselves and we got one more so this is the last pack guys 18.3 plus which means it has a clear card and we are hoping for i'm just ripping them like a maniac i'm just being crazy now i'm just being reckless i'm sorry guys oh it's just frustrated 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 the amount of control you need. Okay, Bulbasaur, nice. So we got the Bulbasaur cello card. Oh, and it, it's gonna come apart a little bit. So there we go. So we got four chances to sell something here. We got Pikachu, Squirtle, Charizard, and the Bulbasaur cello card. We are gonna soak these two, three here. And... Oh, those actually didn't sound stuck together at all. Just the first, just the first two are. Okay, guys, well, yeah, those are both damaged. So that was it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm sorry, I just have a crazy, cranky attitude right now. Like, ah! but, uh, I mean, what are you supposed to do, right? I just got stonewalled here. This is twice. Now, guys, what I'm going to say here, honestly, it just sounds crazy, but do not buy these boxes. The tops boxes. The series one and series two i have now opened if you guys have watched my channel i check out the other video of series one i've opened two of these both of them were dead complete duds because people they're too tightly packed and they get squeezed what is nice is the 11 pack boxes they're like longer and shorter and they have a foam pad below and above the packs and it seemed to have done wonders and they weren't damaged at all so guys, that was it. Pokemon Tops Trading Cards Series 2 with the blue logo. This is a 2000 release. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry about the sadness and just pure carnage over here. We just destroyed thousands of dollars worth of cards, but we had to do it to get to the bottom of what was in these boxes and the weights. So now you guys can see these are your 18.3 and plus packs. The die cuts are in your 17.1 and under. And everything else in between contains variations that are honestly, if the box wasn't wrecked, reasonably awesome cards this set is fantastic the together the set series one and two gives you all the episodes along with every pokemon and guys if you guys want to check out pictures of the packs pictures of the boxes set lists information on the sets check the link in the description for the card snail blog and if you guys want to buy these packs or tons of other stuff not that you specifically want these packs but check the link in the description for the card snail ebay otherwise guys thank you so much for your time i appreciate you so much you guys have the best days until i see you next awesome
I will see you soon. Come back for more, please. I we we won't just have more of this crap. God bless, guys.